I don't know why I continue to do this to myself, but here we are. So I have another one of CNN's voter panels. <laughs> Every time I watch one of these, my, you know, um, my view of humanity tends to go down. And this one is probably going to cause humanity to take the biggest hit yet because this panel contains female Trump voters and they respond to his racist tirade against members of the squad. And for those of you who don't know, obviously, that is Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Ilhan Omar, Ayanna Presley, and Rashida Tlaib. So what he said about them, go back to your own country. Obviously, it was racist. Obviously, Donald Trump is racist himself. Um, but let's see what they have to say, because I think, you know, if you had to guess, they probably loved it. All right, here we go. How many of you don't think what the president said was racist? Raise your hand. These eight Republican. <laughs> All eight of them raised their hands. How do you not think that that's racist? I mean, what else does he have to do? He could literally like wear blackface and use, you know, racial slurs and they would still raise their hands and say, of course, he's not racist. How could he be racist? What's racist about it? I mean, there's literally, there's no ceiling. Like, there's no level of racism that Donald Trump can express that would get them to say, oh, he must be racist. Like, there's no switch. The light bulb's never going off. It doesn't matter what he does. He's never racist in their eyes. From Dallas, don't see anything wrong with President Trump telling four Democratic congresswomen to go back where they came from. He was saying that if they hate America so much because what we're seeing out of them and hearing out of them, they hate America. If it's so bad, there's a lot of places they can go. I'm a brown-skinned woman. I am a legal immigrant. I agree with him. You yeah. don't think that's racist to say no, that? Not at, all. Well, actually, not at I think all. It's, just, no. it's a demonstration of how their ideology spills over, even though they're American now, so to speak. They're not acting American. They I'm glad that Hang the on. president said what he said because... Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. They're not acting American. What does it mean to act American? You could make the same argument about Donald Trump. He's not acting American because we've never had a president this dumb, this belligerent. So what does that even mean? She's imposing what she believes American means. And let's, let's be real. Being American, in their view, means you have to be white. And you have to be pro-flag. You have to hump the flag and fuck your guns. That's the only way you're American enough for these people. Uh, th there's absolutely no other way that you are equal to them if you don't do these things. Like, th these people are, they're not serious people. They're not serious people. They have a very naive worldview. They probably get all of their news and information from Fox News, which means that they actually are less informed than people who consume no news. But nonetheless, this is the reality of the situation. These people vote. And this lady just said uh, something to the effect of, if I'm remembering correctly, I'm glad he said it. All they're, they're doing is... It, they're they're it's they're inciting hatred and division and that's not what our country's about we it, it's it's not about that at all and but i don't isn't that what the president does with some about. of his own comments his own racist comments but he didn't say anything about color we know the president <laughs> <laughs> come on come on oh my god how how can you say that with a straight face you know, these women, they're just so divisive. But isn't that what the president is doing? Yeah, but he didn't say anything about color. No hope for humanity. No hope. Color. We know the president is not racist. He, he loves people from, you know, Hispanics, the black people, all across the board. Let me just... <laughs> like, okay, you can believe that the president is not racist. I would contend that you're probably a little bit delusional at this point, but if you believe that he's not racist, then how do you explain why his policies have a racial effect? Like they hurt people, they hurt marginalized people. You can think oddly, if you want to believe that he loves transgender people, but he banned them from serving in the military. So even if you believe that he's not uh, racist, 
How do you not get that conflict in your mind that, oh, well, he's doing policies X, Y, and Z, and I've gone too far, I'm giving them too much credit because they would never accept that his policies, you know, have racial consequences. Um, they would never accept that, you know, anything the Republican Party does, voter ID laws, these are not racist, even though they are intended to target and reduce the turnout of people of color. Share with you the definition of racism from Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Mm -hmm. A belief that race is the primary determinant of human traits and capacities and that racial differences produce an inherent superiority of a particular race. Based on that definition, do you not think what the president has been saying no. to these No, no. he, he dated a black woman for two years. <laughs> <laughs> what did she, let me go back. If she said what I think she said, then I'm going to die. Not think what the president has been saying no. to these no, people. He, no, he dated a black woman for two years. Oh, uh, I can't. This is like, uh, He can't be racist. One time, you know, he went to the store and the cashier was black and he didn't say anything racist. There's your evidence. Boom. Gotcha. Mic drop. These people are just, they're not living in the same reality that we're all living in. Like, it's an alternate universe that coexists between, you know, their universe and our universe. Like, how are they not seeing what we see? His wives are immigrants. He is not a xenophobic racist. But the first the black billionaire is endorsing President Trump. Yeah. How can you call him racist? So that's such a great point. The first black billionaire endorsed him. So there's no way he could possibly be racist. Wow. Why didn't I think about that? Amazing. So if you ever say anything racist, just get, uh, I I'm assuming she's talking about Kanye West. Just get Kanye West to say that what you said or did is not racist. Then boom, your hands are clean. I mean, I, I just, I don't get how this is compelling to them. How is this a compelling argument to you? You really believe that because Kanye likes him, this doesn't make him racist? How do you explain Central Park Five? How do you explain him discriminating against black tenants in the 70s and 80s? How? How do you explain that? Do you just not know about this? Or do you do know and then you're willfully, you know, ignorant after that? I mean, you're defending someone who is not just maybe racist. He is explicitly openly racist. This isn't dog whistle racism that Donald Trump is expressing. This is bullhorn racism. And you're defending that. And it's not just that he is a bad person because he's racist. He's a bad person because... He has a history of hurting people, hurting vulnerable communities. He's literally an accused rapist, and you're defending this asshole. I mean, Jesus Christ, I can understand separating, you know, the politician and the policies from the personal life. I get it, but at what point do you draw the line? Like, if Bernie Sanders was accused of rape, if he was accused of being racist and there was reason to believe that he was in fact racist, various examples and anecdotes to demonstrate how racist he is, I don't think I could support him even if he had good policy because, I mean, I, I, you would have to draw the line somewhere. Having good moral character, that does matter if you're running the country because we have the most strong military, the biggest economy ever. So, I mean, yeah, I think that having morality... It does matter, contrary to popular belief. But let's continue. I don't know why I'm getting upset, because I, this is what I expected. These congressmen, these congressmen who said they ran for Congress, ran for office because they explicitly love this country, you're saying that's a lie. So yes. Say, yeah, you that is a lie. You're saying they hate this country. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whoever wrote these questions up, it's clearly that they're very manipulative to yep. accuse as a... It, it, instead of extracting the truth. It's a tactic. Because when you it say, is. you know, don't you think he's racist? You're accusing us. You're accusing him. I'm no, asking you. Then don't be racist. Accusing. I'm asking you what but you think. But you can tell. We, okay. It's irrelevant. Here's one thing that I think all Republicans have in common. Accusing someone of being racist is a worse sin than actually being racist like you hear them denounce people who accuse others of being racist but how frequently do they actually denounce racism i mean that's the bigger sin don't ever accuse anyone of being racist because that's worse than actual racism these people are not serious
has nothing to do with the real issue. It has nothing to do with the premise of the issues here. Exactly. Nothing. And whatever it's someone out there. The color of the four. Why do you keep bringing it up? Do you think it's just a coincidence that yes. these four congresswomen that the president is going after, none of them are white? These yes, four they are going after them. Ideology. Exactly. I don't think it matters. Yeah. It's idiotic well, it's also what they're another, saying. It, so it doesn't matter whether they're white. What they're saying is idiotic. What specifically are they saying that you deem idiotic? And let's remember, you support Donald Trump. The man who said that Puerto Rico is surrounded by big water. So before you call any other politician idiotic, you need to evaluate who you're supporting. Because we are seeing Donald Trump's brain melt out of his ears like he he has decayed mentally substantially since he was sworn into office so i think that if you're worried about the intelligence and mental capacity of anyone in congress or anyone in government you need to look to donald trump first because there's nobody dumber than him nobody dumber and i'm not just saying look donald trump has a low iq i'm saying not only do i think he has a low iq but he also has very substantial underlying psychological issues going on there. That's obvious. Everyone sees it. Except you. Man, woman, brown, yellow, anything. I okay. wish that there Let was me. a white one that they, they, um, why are they not racist? How come they haven't befriended one of their white female congresswoman colleagues and Correct. let her join Because them they won't. That's a good point. They right. don't like white people. Come on. Oh my God. Okay, let me just let her finish. Racist. Yeah. How many of you still plan to vote for President Trump? Absolutely. Absolutely. Randy K. See Wow. There's no white members of the squad, so um, they must be racist. What? I mean, do you hear yourself? First of all, they all have a liking to one another and their friends because they all ran on the Justice Democrats platform. They're all Justice Democrats. They all were part of brand new Congress. So they all ran on the same platform of not taking corporate money, being uncompromisingly and unapologetically progressive. So they have that commonality. But I mean, to say, oh, well, they don't have any white members of the squad. Let's say that there was a white person who was part of the squad. Would Donald Trump target her out as much as he targets out them? Probably not. And do we know why? It's because he's a fucking racist. Bernie Sanders is as unapologetically progressive as they are. How often does Donald Trump attack Bernie Sanders? Representative Mark Pocan, very, very progressive male. He's white. Does Trump ever go after him? Is it just a coincidence that he only goes after brown and black people? You don't find that odd? Even if you thought it was just a coincidence, maybe you would think, well, the optics don't look too good, so maybe he should refrain from attacking only black people. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Um, I expected them to be this dumb, quite frankly, but... Um, I mean, these are the people who I think are just too far gone. You're not going to get them. And it wouldn't be a problem if people realize this. But the Democratic Party believes that there are things you can do to win these people over. You're not going to win them over. You're not going to win them over. You have to do what the Republican Party does if you want to win and beat Republicans. What they do is they throw red meat to the base. That's what Donald Trump did when he singled out members of the squad. So Democrats have to have a parallel but opposite strategy and that strategy is you you know throw red meat to your base that's it's as simple as that but not to get you know too far off track here man seeing stuff like this i just <laughs> there's there's no fucking hope i need to stop watching these because um sometimes they're great most of the time like nine times out of ten these videos are soul crushing you could support the Humanist Report at patreon.com slash humanist report. But trust me, I'd have way more supporters on Patreon if that was my podcast. Sad. <laughs>